Remember Stella Duro, not the cookies, but the strike? Last year, members of Local 50 of the Bakery and Grain Millers Union refused demands for wage cuts and slashes in benefits at the Stella Duro factory in New York. More than 130 workers went on strike, and we interviewed several here in the studio at the time. Well, 11 months on, the National Labor Relations Board, Labor Relations, one more time. Remember Stella Doro, not the cookies, but the strike? Last year, members of Local 50 of the Bakery and Grain Millers Union refused demands for wage cuts and slashes in benefits at the Stella Doro factory in New York. More than 130 workers went on strike. We interviewed several in our studios at the time. Well, 11 months on, the National Labor Relations Board has ordered the company to reinstate and pay back wages to those strikers. They're back at work. That's the good news. The bad news is the company's own owner, the Connecticut-based private equity fund Brynwood Partners, is now threatening to close the factory within three months. For a reminder of the struggle, which received a lot of support from New York area unions and the community, and a reminder of why even this small union in a small shop chose to fight, here are some clips from our January 13th conversation. It's, it's a group of people who it's more than a job for most of the people there. It's like part of their family. Most of them have been there so long until it's like, it's, it's, it's just part of the family. So for them, it's pride. When you talk to them, even as a union uh, officer, it's different when you go to Stellador. Um, when you talk to them, they talk about the product like it's theirs. Mm. You know, this is my cookies. You know, when they come out, they should look right. They should taste right. When, when I see the product in the store, at one time, it, it brought tears to my eyes because this is a product that I've been doing, you know, baking for 29 years. And now our fellow workers, like I said, our family, uh, we, we realize that this is a fight that we have to go to the end to win this. We cannot continue to peop, uh, people for uh, corporates or uh, groups of investors to come in here and destroy small businesses that create family, okay? and uh, hurt the middle class people. It's got to be stopped. Mm -hmm. I mean, the new people that are there, they learned, they've learned a lot about strikes. It's been their first strike. They learned about union a lot. We preached it to them, and they do not regret a minute of being out on the street fighting for this cause. The prospect of all those workers losing their jobs after winning their strike sure leaves a sour taste. Cookies just won't taste the same made in a runaway shop. That's all we have time for today. You'll find everything you've seen on our website, grittv.org. While you're there, don't forget to join our mailing list so we can let you know what's coming up and subscribe to help the program. We are viewer supported, broadcasting commercial free across the United States on Free Speech TV, Dish Network, Channel 9415. And you can ask for us on your cable or your public television station. Thanks.